Hey, good morning, and welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4, verses 10 to 12 this morning. Let's read it, and then we'll think about it together. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again, though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So remember, this is one of Paul's prison epistles. He's being locked away, obviously for his faith. He's been preaching and got himself into prison. And that's okay, because he was doing the right thing. And if you wind up in prison for doing the right thing, oh well, God God knows all about it. So Paul's in prison. Thankfully, he's able to write these letters for us. And so we're benefiting from this epistle. Now notice what he says. So he says he's rejoicing that they know he's in prison and that they have taken efforts to care for his needs. They had difficulty with all the challenges, but they were trying to help Paul out. And he says, you know, you may feel bad because you didn't help me as quickly as you wanted, but I've learned, he says, I've learned to be content when I'm, when I'm hungry. I've learned to be content. When I have what I need, I've learned to be joyful. When I don't have what I need, I've learned to trust God. And so he's just telling them, you know, in whatever state, in whatever, in whatever situation he's in, he's learned to trust God. But that brings a question for you and me. Have we learned in whatever situation you and I are in? Have we learned to just relax and trust God? Uh, maybe some of us still need to keep learning in that, in that area, I, I think. He's learned in whatever state he is to be content. He says, now I says, I know how to be abased. I know how to abound. In all things, I've learned both to be full and hungry. I've learned to abound and to suffer need. And this is part of the experience that Paul had in serving Jesus. And it, it'll be part of the experience you and I have in serving Jesus. To be sometimes abounding and sometimes in need and yet to be trusting trusting the God of heaven all the time. And so we can have this experience. We're getting some insight here about how to have it, how to trust in the Lord Jesus in any and all situations. So let's practice this today in our lives, and we'll be ready when there's an emergency at uh, some future point. We'll be more ready to trust in him and to thrive better in those times of special emergence. Right now, why don't we pray to him? Dear Father in heaven, you are on your throne, you are in control, you are ready to give to us what we need, and so we're joyful today, Lord. You can teach us how to trust you in our times of need. So Lord, help each one, help each brother and sister who's starting the day, help us to grow from it and be more like Jesus. So Lord, this is our prayer today, super complicated, (laughs) and we ask We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So God be with you today in all of your needs and show you how to be abounding or abased, but to trust in him at all times.